Hello and welcome to the first devlog for Ironbark Games. My name is Andrew, I am the solo dev for Ironbark Games. Uh, so here's a bit about myself. I have been in the Brisbane indie games industry since 2017 and I have a degree in audio engineering that has led to being part of a local startup, Humble Sage Games. I have learned a lot of different areas of game development while working with them and I am now starting my own journey. So what is my project? The idea behind this game is to essentially mix Skyrim with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like both of these games, my game will be an open world game with a focus on adventure and exploration. I would love to have massive play areas like these games, however I'm just a solo dev so this will take a long time for me to achieve. Instead, I will have a much smaller area that is filled with secrets and little bits of lore of the world that I will be creating. I think I have a lot of good ideas for this game, but I will go into detail about everything over time and not all in one video. So, where did I start? I find planning a really rewarding aspect of game dev, just getting everything down on paper so I can reference back to my original thoughts and make sure it aligns well. So that's where I started. I wrote up a document outlining what I wanted to achieve for this game, what was the most to least important to me, so I have priorities for when I eventually have to cut back what I have aimed to achieve. I put in references for how I want it to work and how I want it to look, and a quick outline of how I imagine this would work in my game. Next was getting into the engine and making a start. For this game I have chosen to use Unity because that is what I am most familiar with. Using my planning I went to the asset store and found assets that will fill out my world and help set up my player character this really sped things up. I don't have any experience in Blender or with animations so finding character models and animations was super beneficial for me. And some aesthetic scenery packs really helped as well. I wanted to use Unity's universal render pipeline for VFX graph and shader graph uh, but uh, I couldn't really get it working with the asset textures so end up restarting with just the default Unity pipeline. This may affect things for me down the road, but for the moment it works well, and VFX Graph can be added into the game regardless, so we'll find out later. So after a few days of issues attempting to get the Universal Render Pipeline to work and giving up, I moved to creating a simple forest environment to put my play into I watched a few tutorials for using the terrain tool and quickly made something that I was happy with for a base scene. I then moved to setting up a player character. So far I have a decent camera controller, the player can move around, jump, attack and I am working on a shield mechanic. All of these are quite basic and will need a lot more work down the track, but for the moment they work. I am using the Unity sample third person player character with another character controller model um, and mostly using the model's animations. This took me a good couple of weeks to do because I don't have any experience in setting up a player character and I am a very beginner programmer. The biggest issue I've had was actually with the camera controller. I was initially using a camera controller that I made from a tutorial but I found it very annoying and jarring to use, so I spent a few days just messing around with the camera controller. In the end, I ended up settling with the camera controller of Unity's third person sample character controller. This was a lot smoother and took very little time to set up once I would made that choice, and I'm very happy with it. I will be working on this again because I want to be able to swap between first and third person camera modes eventually. And that's where the project is currently. My goal for next month is to have the main player mechanics working. 
So that is walking, running, jumping, simple melee attacks, which is all currently working, but also having shields, bows, sneaking, and a very basic inventory. At the current rate I've been working, I believe this is possible, but I don't know actually how much work it is. Regardless of how much work I get done in the next month, there will be another devlog coming by the end of August. So, what's coming up next? As I mentioned, there will be another devlog next month, and these will be aiming to be monthly. I'm not setting myself with time restraints, so if I don't get much done, there will be a video, but it'll be a bit shorter. Additionally, I am now posting on pretty much all social media, so please look us up. I have a link in the description to my Discord, where you can find all the links as well. Please make sure to check it out and join the Discord. It is in its early stages at the moment, but hopefully with time it will get more busy. I have set up channels to give help and get help for what you're working on, as well as channels for you to share your own work, links to your social, and publish games if you've got them. I really want my Discord to be a bit of a networking hub and a place for people to help each other, so please check it out. So if you've made it through to the end, thank you and uh, please like and subscribe. I am very new to YouTube and creating content, so please let me know how I can improve and any suggestions you have along the way would be amazing as well. Be sure to tune in next month.